Solid Geometry Up until now, we have concentrated our study of geometry on two-dimensional figures. However, since our physical world is not limited to two dimensions, we will extend our study of geometric figures to the three-dimensional world. Let us begin by defining five solids that we will be looking at. A prism is a geometric solid having two parallel bases that are congruent polygons and whose lateral faces are parallelograms. The height or altitude is the perpendicular distance between the bases. A right prism is one whose bases are perpendicular to the lateral faces and all lateral faces are rectangles. If this is not the case, the prism is oblique. The shape of the base is indicated in the name of the figure. A pyramid is a three-dimensional solid having any polygon as its base and triangular faces that meet in a common vertex. The altitude of a pyramid is the perpendicular distance from the vertex to the base. A regular pyramid is one with regular polygon as a base and the foot of the altitude is at the center of the base. The triangular faces formed by joining the consecutive vertices of the base to the vertex of the pyramid are called lateral faces. The lateral faces in a regular pyramid are congruent isosceles triangles. The slant height of a regular pyramid is the altitude of a lateral face. The intersections of the lateral faces are called the lateral edges. A right circular cylinder, commonly referred to as simply a cylinder, is a geometric solid with two parallel and congruent circles as bases and a lateral curved surface connecting the bases. The altitude of a cylinder is the perpendicular distance between the two bases. A cone is a three-dimensional solid with a circle for its base and a curved surface made up of a set of line segments called elements that meet in a point called the vertex. The perpendicular distance from the vertex to the base is the altitude of the cone. A right circular cone has the foot of the altitude at the center of its circular base. The slant height of a right circular cone is the length of an element of the cone. A sphere is a three-dimensional solid consisting of the set of all points in space equidistant from a fixed point. This fixed point is called the center of the sphere and the given distance from the center is the radius of the sphere. If two spheres have the same radius, they are congruent spheres. Look at each of the following figures and classify each. Figure number one is a cylinder. Figure number two is a pyramid. Figure number three is a prism. In fact, since all sides are the same length, is a special prism called a cube. Figure number four is a cone. Figure number five is a sphere.